सर आई नो दिस क्वेश्चन डिविएट्स अ लिटिल फ्रॉम द टॉपिक अंडर डिस्कशन बट सिंस यू आर अ सीजन पॉलिटिकल एनालिस्ट वी वी वुड लाइक योर ओपिनियन ऑन दिस इन द रीसेंट पास्ट वी हैव सीन बीजेपी ओपनिंग इट्स डोर्स टू अ लॉट ऑफ पॉलिटिशियंस फ्रॉम द कांग्रेस एंड द एनसीपी इज दिस द करेक्ट थिंग टू डू वेल दिस सेशन इज प्योरली बेस्ड ऑन इंटेलिजेंस बट आई विल नेवर द लेस गिव माय टू बिट इट्स इंडीड अ गुड क्वेश्चन व्हिच आई एम श्योर अ लॉट ऑफ अस आर थिंकिंग अबाउट इट well let let us address this question very rationally rather than getting emotional about it before that uh, before i answer this question i'm i'm sure all of us will agree that we have a lot to learn from history like general bakshi just mentioned to us the uh, two door policy adopted by hitler my political guru always told me that there are no permanent friends or permanent enemies in politics uh we going back to history what i want you to do is let's let's take an example of kashmir keep kashmir in mind when i'm telling you this uh let's look at it this way during the samudra manthan which happened the churning of the ocean the devtas actually had to get into a, an alliance with the danavs because the devtas alone could not hold vasuki right so they they were forced to do that the final result was the amrit which is the nectar similarly in kashmir bjp had to enter into an alliance with the pdp and the final result was the abolition of article 370 we also had uh, an a great example of how prabhu shri ram uh, welcomed vibhishan and defeated ravan so i'm sure a lot of people here will not agree to the methodology adopted by the bjp but you can definitely not deny the benefits that the nation is getting out of it remember one thing that the bjp is a political party it's not a religious organization so you do, you can't expect narendra modi to adopt a holier than thou approach to all problems and all issues having said that i'm not saying that whatever has been said by the bjp is the gospel truth but at the end of the day i am at peace in peace of mind knowing that the person who is at the helm of affairs is not doing anything for his own benefit or for his family he is doing it for you and the nation